Hi, good morning and welcome to Talking Teeth Thursday. As you can tell, I am not in my usual place and um, acoustically you've probably got a few echoes going on in here. But um, today I am out and about and doing a little bit of, of uh, oral health uh, for myself. So um, I have got uh, had some tooth movement and I want that rectified um, before it goes too far. So I have come to Newcastle upon Tyne and I am going to have some treatment. So, so far this morning I have been scanned. Morning Jan, now you've caught on where I am. Um, I am at the windmill of the Gombics in Newcastle and I am going to be having some of the Gombic treatment which we are going to actually track for growing smiles because it's something that so many people are interested in not just from the point of view of their kids, but also adults going back and having orthodontic treatment in places where they maybe didn't have the opportunity when they were younger. And the interesting thing is that it, there is so much that can be done. So it's not just a purely functional thing, often it's aesthetic, so how your, that your smile appears that you would like something rectified with it. And that can be changed. It's quite amazing what can be done. Just even sitting in this clinic this morning for the last uh, half hour, hour. So morning, Jan. Great to see you. Thanks for joining me. Um, now um, it's amazing what can be done. So and it doesn't always mean that you have to have this sort of uh, work involved. It's not always about that. There's a lot of tear aligners that can be are, are available. And basically, everybody's an individual, and I always talk about it's what's going to be right for you and what's going to make your mouth the way you want to and uh, want to look, and also how it wants to function. Because if we remind yourself why we have teeth, we have teeth so that we can eat, we can speak, and we look good and we have a beautiful smile. And uh, things do change that actually affect that, and it's important for all of us that no matter what we're having done, that we're starting from a healthy foundation. Now, my oral health has been uh, a bit of an interesting one because I'm, I'm the daughter of a dentist, and yet I have pretty much a mouthful of restorations and restorations. And I know I have to work hard to keep them healthy. I do not want any new treatment that is not absolutely necessary. And likewise, if you're going to have orthodontic treatment, if you're going to have, uh, if you're going to have braces, for any sort of more complex restorative treatment, you've always going to work from healthy foundations but that is going to be maintained long term. You don't want to have to have something done and then have it be done, you know, a year, ten years down the road. And that, that can be something um, from a filling to complex implant therapy or adult orthodontic therapy. So you want to look after that. So the key is very much starting with a healthy base. So um, make sure you see your dentist regularly. Get your checkups, go and see the hygienist if that's what they recommend. Make sure your gums are healthy and foundations are all set. Anybody having orthodontic treatment, you have to go to the next level as far as cleaning goes. Just your basic nighttime um, to morning toothbrushing isn't going to be enough, particularly if you end up with this sort of treatment involved, which does. I mean, it just logistically, if you just look how much more there is between your eyes. You're going to end up with problems if you do not maintain um, not only your teeth care but also the braces, the pair of your braces. Likewise, if you've got clear aligners, they need to be managed and looked after properly. So the key is very much what you're doing every day. Now, your toolkit will change. So what you were doing when just my ordinary teeth, so what I'm starting with now, my routine at the minute is I brush, I go off and use a water faucet as well. My, I use a good for eye toothpaste, but I don't get out. I clean my tongue, so I have my tongue scraper. Um, but my, my kit is going to have to change as I go through this orthodontic experience. So, first of all, you might want to, it might be recommended an orthodontic toothbrush. So you can see that this is what the ridge is here. And um, how that works is that it goes on either side, that I need this over, uh, the way, on either side of the client. So you can see how it cleans above. above and below that and lose this one. I get my hand on it. So you put me in a different environment and I'm totally confused. So you can see how that actually then will clean along the appliance. The most important thing is get yourself in front of the mirror because if you can see what you're trying to clean, then you're actually going to be much more effective at doing it. Your toothbrushing is always going to be the last thing you do, last thing at night, one other time in the day. You also want to say, well, recommend that you brush after you eat as well. And that's as much about getting food loosened as well. 
um, but clean in between if that's feasible. You've got to have other gadgets in here and you're going to come back and keep looking at that. So that might be something like this. These are uh, gum chops for orthodontics. So this little, if I can do this in one hand, which is questionable, this little bit goes over the arch bar. So you can see, you can see how that bit will fit over the arch bar. And then the other, you know, let me see if I can set this on something find something to set on. I'm never going to find things to set things on. Um, that bit goes over the wire like that and then the floss goes in behind and you can still floss if you can see that. Okay, so you floss on either side. Um, I actually have a demonstration of that somewhere else on the website. So you still need to clean in between your teeth. All these little places are going to gather that biofilm up and you're going to have to clean them around that. You may well find something like a little single tufted brush is incredibly effective for getting in there. Now, if you look at that, you can see that little tooth is in behind, sits a little bit in behind the arch. So you can see this tooth sits in here. And I have this pretty much, and mine's not just as marked as that. But with this, you can get right if not in underneath that and clean around the gum mat line. And you can also clean up in underneath the wires there as well. I'm doing this in reverse and upside down. A little single tuft of brush like this can be incredibly effective. And the nice thing about this is you can, particularly with this sort of single tuft of soil toothbrushing technique, you can sit and do this while actually watching the tooth. Once you get to feel how clean tooth actually feel, then you can actually manage it far better. So your kit is going to change. There is a, a, an order that you do things in. So you want to clean in between your teeth first. Will clean the tongue, and then the last thing you do is going to be the toothbrush. In. Spit the toothpaste out. Don't let it turn out. Let the toothpaste stay around your teeth. And good for eye toothpaste is going to be really important for that. Now, if the orthodontist may recommend a, a, a mouth rinse. So you're going to use the mouth rinse as a different time of the day to when you brush your teeth. So an alcohol-free, dry mouth rinse, use it at different times of the day. And really important, use it thoroughly. Now, it will stay on the bottle 30 seconds or a minute, it's a lot longer than you just think. So what you've got to do is put it in your mouth and then you really give it a lot of bubble to you. Then squeeze the cream to get the maximum benefit out of it. Now, why, why is that important? If you're going to use the mouth you want to get the active ingredients around your teeth. And it's the seasonal effect. So every time you eat um, sugars, acids get in around your teeth and potentially demineralize the teeth surface. So what you're trying to do is lean them eyes. And now when you've got a mouthful of braces or hardware like this, what you're going to find is there's a lot more little nooks and crannies of food stuff and bacteria and colony around. So you've got to try and, and protect your tooth surfaces from that added layer of, of hardware for once of that restriction. So making the tooth surface is stronger to begin with. So if you're going to have orthodontic treatment or you think your child is going to need orthodontic treatment and braces, you want to get them really on top of their own hygiene routine. Get yourself some disclosing tablets. Hugely important because disclosing tablets will stain with fat bacteria around your teeth so you can see what you're actually looking at. Then what happens, you can actually get your teeth brushing and see what you need. And I mean, if you're having orthodontic treatment, just using disclosing tablets, even if only once a week, it really makes a difference in how you can get around this. And you will get it off. So when you're actually looking at this, what happens is the plant bacterial, all this biofilm will get stained around the neck of your teeth. Then you so chew the tablet up, rinse it around your mouth, spit out. Then what happens? Um, right, Jan. Okay, well, hopefully you're not stuck anywhere without your phone. I'll catch up with you later. Thanks for joining me, Jan. Take care. I'll tell her what she was asking for. Um, so anyway, back to this. Disclosing, ta disclosing solution, disclosing tablets will help let you see where the plant biofilm gathers. Use it at least once a week for you in going through orthodontic therapy. Get into the habit of using it before you even start orthodontic therapy because then you know what you're looking for and you'll get to use the idea of your teeth being super clean. Then take your antidental brushes. Now you may Interdental brushes, all shapes and sizes, all different brands. You always want to use the biggest one that will fit comfortably. So I have just a few here. Oh, let me see if I can get these out. Not as well organized as they usually are. But you can see different sizes. 
And what you want to use is use the biggest one that will fit comfortably. Now, with your braces, you may well be advised to use them up and down like this because that way you can clean either side of the braces. And you may well also be asked to clean in between. Okay. Now this is what where time out for teeth was grown is particularly useful. So if you've got um what we call appliances on and you're thinking like well, where am I going to start with this? Spending that little bit of money having 15 minutes with me and another, uh, another Golden Smiles coach to find out how you're meant to look after this is really, really useful because your braces are going to be personal to you. You may have only on the top, you may have them on the bottom, you have, may have both. You may have a removable appliance, you may have a pair of liner. There's so many variations in what is available there now. But always, most of the time, you take the time every surface, every tip, and watch what you're doing. So if you're in front of the mirror, I can actually get up close and personal, and you can actually see what you're doing. Um, hand mirror, bathroom mirror, some of it is good light, and a little mouth mirror can be really, really useful to look in behind your teeth as well. Um, so other things that you may find useful. This is very interesting. This is a picture brush, and the great thing about this is part of the picture is connected system. So the head comes off the handle. So if I'm trying to clean, say, in behind here, this is a really, really handy little brush for cleaning in behind these lower front teeth. It's also great for cleaning, see, in between these two teeth there. Let me show you. You can get right in there. And at the back of those front teeth, again, really, really handy to get back in, in, in at the very back here. Use some dry, like your toothbrush, you don't need to put any toothpaste on because you're going to finish the last thing you're going to do is you want your toothbrush and your toothpaste. But the great thing about this is you can actually switch that around and put this other head on. So that then gives you a different tip that allows you to get in around your appliances. Just very small circular motions right the way around where the gum and the tooth meet every surface, so all the way around the outside, around the arch wire, around the bracket, and up in behind as well, as far as you can go. So there are different gadgets, but you need different tools to actually be able to act clean in the wrong braces. Take your time, this is time consuming. Two minutes is not going to do it, okay? You're going to have to spend somewhere between three and five minutes to brush thoroughly, and that's last thing at night and in the morning time at least. It's a big commitment if you're not doing it properly to begin with and you're not managing your part five. And you may find that you refer to an orthodontist and what's going to say, I know it would be wrong of me to put braces on here because what's going to happen is you're not able to help, your gums aren't healthy, your teeth aren't clean, and all of it is creating more problems for you. So, what happens is you get um, gums that bleed really easily, you get cavities developing after orthodontic treatment. And it's not the braces that cause it, it's the fact that they've been so complicated to keep clean and you struggle to do that. So if you're in the habit of, of being quite religious about your oral hygiene before you start orthodontic treatment, your, your journey through your orthodontic therapy is going to be much healthier, it's going to be much better, and it's going to be much more successful. And at the end of the day, then you're going to have these straight teeth, which are going to be easier to manage in the longer term, because when you're straight teeth, you're going to keep clean teeth that are crooked and um, uh, just more nicks and crannies for bacterial plants to gather around. There are lots of little different tips. So this is one of them that I've been sent recently. Um, a lot of orthodontic practices have similar little kits and they might even have some wax there in case you've got a bracket or wire that actually uh, can be sore and can be uncomfortable and you can put that over that just to protect yourself too. So there's lots of things going on with orthodontic treatment. I am now going to start looking at, I've just been, as I say, I've just had some scans done, and it's involved with like, some photographs taken, and we are going to post this underneath a heading of orthodontic therapy, and we're going to go through this journey with me, and we're going to say, I am present in Newcastle, and this is what we're having. Um, I'm just going to take a little guided tour of this surgery, which I happen to be a uh, positive event. But you can see we've got all our bits and pieces here that we need. Uh, um, models for educating patients. 
dental chair, and everything that is going to be required for doing something and making my teeth easier to manage, which is really my whole purpose in doing this, is actually to um, make sure that I don't end up with problems. It's primarily my lower tooth here, which has rotated, and what has happened is I have had some nasal drift that has developed over the years, and part of that is aging, but um, it, it's a process that does happen, and uh, I want to do something about it because I think that if I'm not prepared to put myself through this and actually give myself a healthy smile for life, life, um, I can't expect other people to do that either. But I also know the case I'm going to have to look after this. I have to maintain this. So what I'm going to do is we are going to document this. I have taken some photographs, taken some video footage of the scans being taken. I have taken photographs of me having the photograph taken. Interesting one. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at that and we're going to talk about um, over the next uh, weeks and months about how I actually transition through this orthodontic treatment. I did not have orthodontic treatment as a child. A lot of people do. It's easier to move teeth when you're young, which is why once the permanent dentition comes in, that is when you're more like, most likely to be referred to orthodontic treatment. Sometimes it's to do with the way you bite, and that can eventually it's not that it to jaw problems. Sometimes it can lead to an increased risk of tooth decay because the teeth are crooked and more bacteria and foodstuffs to them are sometimes it's just benefit. So uh, once you have it done, then you've got to maintain it. So that may be some people end up with fixed retention, so a wire behind which you can hold the space is closed. Um, other people have to con constantly wear the retainers mask and overnight. So there's different things you've got to listen when you go to the orthodontist. And probably the other thing we were just talking to this morning that a lot of orthodontic patients forget if you've still got to see your own dentist and your own hygiene team. Really good habit with orthodontic patients. I often recommend this when people come to the time out for teeth, particularly having orthodontic treatment, is make sure you see your hygiene regularly. Now, they may say every three or four months during your orthodontic therapy. And they may use a process called airflow or kind of biofilm therapy to disrupt them and move the track biofilm. It's a brilliant technique for cleaning around braces. And it's just as adequate support. It's that little bit of support from the professionals um, for what you're doing every day. And it's always about that balancing up between you making sure you're doing enough to prevent problems while you're actually keeping your mouth healthy. And having orthodontic treatment increases your risk if you're not up in the effort to balance our right. um, And the last thing you want is to have straight teeth and then holy teeth. So there you go. I am going to be around for the next 45 minutes or so, unless I call back to doing another bit in the face of this process. I will pop a few pictures up here now in this feed, and we will see how we're going. Um, oh, one other thing I need to mention this morning are these things. What are these? I have mentioned them before, but these are thumbs. Uh, a lot of people worry about kids sucking their thumb or their fingers and the impact that that has on your growing smile and uh, whether you'll need braces or not. Well, these are great little things to help you break the habit. I have quite big for this one. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and it helps children to break that habit. Now, we have some of these, the link to some of these, and the discount code is on. The dummy tree and all our healthy tips for healthy teeth bit of the website. So have a wee look at that. So you can see they come in really, really cute little patterns, all different colours, different sizes. There's some for thumb, there's some for fingers and digits. And uh, they're all handmade and really, really worthwhile. If you have a youngster trying to give up their thumb, if you've gone to visit a lot of them, they might be like, well, you know, no fight, we're not going to do anything until they stop sucking their thumb.